179 British service personnel died in Iraq. Today, the Queen joined their families and colleagues to honour those who fought in the conflict. The Archbishop of Canterbury led the address at St Paul's Cathedral. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dr Rowan Williams is an outspoken critic of the war, previously describing the decisions which led to it as flawed. A time to reflect on the unexpected qualities of people like ourselves, who caught up in the confusion of a great international upheaval, simply got on with the task they were given, because they believed that order and justice mattered. Among those in the congregation listening to his words was Tony Blair. The former Prime Minister looked solemn as Dr Williams criticised the policy makers for failing to consider the cost of Iraq. The moral credibility of any country engaged in war depends a lot less on the rhetoric of politicians and commentators than on the capacity of every serving soldier to discharge these responsibilities with integrity and intelligence. A time to kill and a time to heal, says our first reading. A time to break down and a time to build up. The healing and the building up have been at the heart of the efforts of those we commemorate today. That cost for these families was dear, the loss of a loved one. Among them, senior aircraftsman Chris Dunsmore, who died in 2007 in a mortar attack on Basra Airport, just days before his 30th birthday. His father, Jeff, was at the service. I'm very proud to be here to represent Chris and to wear his medal and uh, represent the family and really to celebrate his life and the lives of all those others who, who have paid that, that ultimate sacrifice. The service marks the end of combat operations in Iraq. The last British soldiers left Basra in April, but the controversy hasn't gone away. The war is still raging in Afghanistan, and even as those who fell in Iraq were remembered, the MODs confirmed another death in Helmand province. The toll from that conflict is now substantially higher than that from Iraq. Today's service was to offer some closure on Iraq, but we're a long way from something similar for Afghanistan.